Hello and welcome, my name is Steve Woody from Online Mastery and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can create a custom checkout using WooCommerce and the Pro theme from ThemeCo. Now the reason that I've created this video is because I needed a better checkout process, something that increased conversions and simplified the user experience. So I'm going to talk you through step by step exactly how we do that. Now as you can see here, this is the outcome, this is the final result and this is exactly what we're going to be creating. So the first thing that you're going to notice is there is a folder. You should have downloaded it. If you haven't been able to download it, then please check in the description of this video. I'll make sure I post a link where you can download this. And these are the files you're going to have. The screenshot, which we've just seen. Uh, some very basic instructions here, which I'm just running through with you now. Uh, this video actually covers those instructions. Most importantly, we're going to see these four files. We've got the functions.php. We have the JS, the CSS, and the checkout.tco. So the first thing we're going to look at is the functions.php. Now, you'll need to load up a program to access the FTP. Uh, if you don't know how to do this, you go into your wp-content folder. There is a file there called functions.php, and it would look something like this, but without all of this additional code. So this is how it would look as standard. You can also get there by going to Appearance Editor through the uh, back-end dashboard. So we have to be very careful here. Uh, any changes that we make, they will reflect on the site. And if you do anything wrong, it can break your website. So please be very careful. But what we need to do is we need to open up the functions.php that I've given you in the zip file. Copy all of this text. Come along to here on a new line and just paste. That's it, nice and simple. If you've already got some code, just paste it underneath. And what this is basically gonna do, this is the WooCommerce Pro Theme checkout customization. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to remove the checkout, uh, the coupon form from the checkout. The reason we do that is because on this page, when it loads, uh, it loads the checkout at the top very, very briefly, and it's a bit of a distraction. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove it, and then we're going to reload it at the bottom of the page. That way, anybody that visits the page for the first split second, they don't get to see that coupon form appear. Uh, the reason that it appears very briefly is because of this code here. What this basically is saying is I want to hide the coupon form and I want to show it in another place. And the final bit of code here is where we're going to show the coupon. And so basically what this is doing is we are showing the coupon here underneath the order. The reason we're doing this is because it's subtle. You don't want the have a coupon added at the top of the page. We want something nice and subtle that looks like this. And so that is the reason that we have done this. Um, you don't have to do it if you don't want to. I just find that it's nice to have it. How many times have you been on a website? You've seen the enter a coupon and then you go flying around the internet trying to find a discount code before you purchase. Sometimes even finding a cheaper product or a different product and buying it elsewhere. So in order to help keep people here and part of the conversion process is we've just made this a lot more subtle. It's still here when people click on it. As you can see, it's nice styled in with the theme. Uh, and it's it's just here instead. So that's the reason for doing that. Once you've done that and you've saved your functions.php, the next thing you're going to need to do is coming across to Pro, you're going to need to come to your template manager. Once there, you're going to need to upload the template file which I've given you, checkout.tco. As soon as you've done that, you can come to your checkout page, wherever that is, and you can edit the page in Pro. And once you're there, it's going to look like this. So the first thing we're going to want to do here is load the template. Again, we know the template was called checkout. I'm just going to insert that here. And then the other two files which you had was CSS and JS. So what we need to do here is just click on the CSS tab that we have here. And you're going to need to copy all of this CSS. So I'm just going to grab this code here. And I'm simply just going to paste it in here. And what you'll see this will do is it's going to slightly change the look and feel of this page. I'm going to do the same thing for the JavaScript. So if I open up the JavaScript here, you'll see that this, uh, this is what we need to be able to show the coupon when we click on it. If you don't have this JavaScript, then when you click on this, nothing will happen. So we need to have that. Okay, so now that we have that, we've put in our template, we've added our CSS, we've added our JS, we can now save this page. 
and it is worth mentioning that when you come up to the cog here the page settings ideally you want a blank no container no header no footer that's the page layout that I've gone for and it's what will make this look uh, the best way that it can okay and that's all you need to do as soon as you've done that you come across to the page you'll be able to see here we have our modal to be able to see our basket we have our coupon that lets us put in our coupon and then we can fill in our details and we can check out so there's a couple of additional things that go with this that's all you need to do to be able to customize uh, the, the layout itself and, and that's kind of everything that I wanted to give you but as a little bonus I want to just give you a couple of extra things to help improve the UI and so what I've done here as you can see is I've removed all of the labels and I've used placeholders instead I think it just gives it a much cleaner look and feel and the way that I've done that is by using a plugin and that plugin is called WooCommerce Checkout Field Editor and it is a free plugin which is available in the WordPress repository it's called WooCommerce Checkout Field Editor now it's called Manager Pro but it's not a pro version it's a free version there is a pro version and I, I actually have the pro version but you don't need it you only need the free version and it looks like this so in WooCommerce you'll have a, a new thing here called checkout form and what you'll be able to do here is you'll be able to come into any of these billing details now we kind of want to come into let's say first name and we want to click on edit and on the right hand side you can now add the label class hidden because when we built this page uh, we added a class called hidden which means display none so just by simply typing in the class for the label hidden that will hide the label and then what we want to do is we want to copy whatever the label is and we want to put that into the placeholder so I've simply copied this and I've pasted it here once you've done that click edit field and just work down the list and do that for everything label class hidden and the label name is copied into the placeholder name now you will have to go through and do that for all of these options but what that will do is it will give you a really nice clean look and feel that you can see here okay so once we've done that plugin another plugin which I have uh, a second plugin is called WooCommerce direct checkout again it's a free plugin you can get it by typing in direct checkout to the uh, the plugin repository and it looks like this under WooCommerce it'll see direct checkout and if we enable this what it will basically do is when somebody adds a product to the cart it will automatically redirect them to the checkout page this way if you have just one product that you're selling or one service that you're selling and you don't have so much as a full WooCommerce shop then what you can do is you can have it that when they click on the button to purchase it takes them straight to this page it bypasses the basket it bypasses the uh, all of the other screens and so you come straight here to check out uh, this is a really really important plugin to allow you uh, to be able to streamline that process and finally the final plugin which I have here is called autocomplete for WooCommerce so just type in autocomplete it's this one here it's called um, auto uh, complete WooCommerce orders and what this does what this allows you to do this autocomplete WooCommerce orders is you will have within your settings in WooCommerce settings uh, a tab here called extra options and this allows you to automatically complete the order of any paid order of any paid product and you want to save that that means that it will not be stuck in processing and as soon as the order has been paid for it will mark that order as complete now one of the things you need to be careful of is if you are shipping out physical products you may only want paid order of virtual products only uh, and the reason that you may want to do that is because you may have a shipping process for physical products so this is more for digital products so that it does not stay processing and it marks it as complete and so that is everything that I do to enhance the checkout experience using WooCommerce and the pro theme I hope it helps I hope you enjoy it and I'd be really keen to know if it helps your conversions please drop me a comment uh, underneath the video below I would love to hear from you otherwise have an amazing day and I will speak to you soon